top scientists at the United Nations say they want you to look at the pictures they have been studying of planet Earth. The air, the water, the soil, hundreds of scientists saying tonight it is visual proof of global warming and what we all have to do next. ABC's Dan Harris with today's big announcement. Devastating floods in Colorado, heat records in Las Vegas, Superstorm Sandy, melting glaciers, dying coral reefs, declining penguin population. Today's UN report says we will be seeing much more of these kinds of things in the coming decades as a result of climate change, which for the first time they pin with near certainty on us humans. It is extremely likely that changes in our climate system for the past uh, half a century are due to human influence. Rising heat already costs the average American family, like the Rieblings of New Jersey, in everything from food to air conditioning. But that's nothing, says today's report. If the world doesn't make big changes soon, by the year 2040, we could very well have released enough greenhouse gases that we will have locked in a global temperature rise of 3.6 degrees, which is where potentially irreversible and catastrophic changes kick in. We're talking about an increase in animal extinctions, a drying up of farmland that could lead to massive food shortages, and putting us on a path towards sea level rise that could swallow up parts of major American cities like New York, Miami, and San Diego. Skeptics have predictably accused the UN panel of being alarmist, but Princeton climate scientist Michael Oppenheimer, who is on the panel, says this is a major wake-up call. Why do you think there isn't a greater sense of urgency out here in the real world about climate change? A concern that's mostly in the future is something you can easily put off and not worry about today. But this is bearing down on us. It's coming at us like a Mack truck. All right, so what kind of changes need to be made and how will they affect you? Experts say we need to shift to cleaner energy, like natural gas, wind, and solar, and move toward more energy-efficient cars and home appliances. Some of this could be more expensive for us, frankly, but it is definitely cheaper than runaway global warming. And, and they were unequivocal today. Unequivocal. All right, thank you, Dan.